Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to Friday. We made it through the week. Give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's been a real learning curve this week doing these card readings and I have really, really enjoyed it. Um, thank you if you've stuck with me all week or if you've joined me halfway through or whatever you've done to be here. I just really, really thank you. It, I've really been enjoying them um, and I hope to do many, many more. Um, okay, so I thought after yesterday, we had a lot of swords yesterday. So I thought what I'm going to do, because it's Friday, <laughs> I'm going to get these really lovely cards and they are called Spirit Animal Tarot. Uh, and each card is represented by an animal. So I'm hoping, my plan was, that we'd get some really lovely fluffy animals out to enjoy the weekend. <laughs> but it doesn't always go to plan, does it? So, yeah, you might get like a, I don't know, a vulture or something. <laughs> Who knows? So let's see what two cards we get to, uh, to start our Friday with. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh that couldn't have been just I didn't make that up I really really didn't so there's the death card because <laughs> there's nothing fluffier and cuter than the uh, omen of death is there <laughs> Sorry. so okay thanks tarot <laughs> Right, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't. This moth, <laughs> this moth has got the nice skull there. <laughs> His head. Oh dear, I'm at a loss. To, <laughs> I really am at a loss to say. I shouldn't be laughing when we've got the omen of death, but it's clearly been that sort of week, hasn't it? Okay, <laughs> right, while I compose my side, I've literally lost for words. So, um, well, at least we can, you know, laugh in the face of death. <laughs> but let me pick another card. Let's, let's, there's fluffy animals in him. I promise you there is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going horribly wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so we've got a pig. <laughs> another lovely fluffy animal. Although pigs are quite cute, aren't they? Right. Okay. Let's try and delve through whatever message this is. So the moth is one of the major arcana cards in the spirit animal tarot um, and yeah it is the death card but we've also got the nurturer of fossils which is the queen of pentacles in in normal tarot should we say um, <laughs> and i'm thinking of a phrase about a pig where they say like as happy as a pig in you know that's 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 a phrase that pigs are you know in so that's a real con contrast, isn't it? We've got this really dark energy and we've got this really light, happy-go-lucky pig. I've just dropped, pushing along with his snout, the little pentacle there, okay? Um, and what a lovely surrounding he's in. He's in, a, I'm saying a he, it's, a, it's the nurture, which is the queen, possibly a she, might be a she, let's call him a she. Um, but, you know, we've got... Looks like actually an eclipse there, so which is weird because that's actually coming up soon, a solar eclipse. That's actually coming up next week. So that's very um, interesting, as I do like to say quite a lot. And there's some beautiful flowers in this card. So all I can really say, because this has really thrown me, I have to say, I was hoping to get like rabbits and dogs. <laughs> so I really didn't expect that. Um, but, you know, that's what life's like, I guess, isn't it? Sometimes you just don't expect it, and there it is, uh, and it just knocks you for six. Um, but I think that's, this is the, I feel like I want to say that what gets you through really dark times is gratitude. And sometimes um, it's difficult to find, but if you can find it, you can't be anxious and grateful at the t same time. A very wise lady called Tiffany Crossara told me that and it helped me through some very uh, difficult times in my life. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at this card and it suddenly sparked fear and anxiety of all, oh, you know, because obviously when death comes up into a reading, it, it means transformations and change. But we've been talking about that all week. So I kind of feel like, yeah, we've got the message. We know this is a very transformational time and we know things are leaving our life and we know that. But if you can focus on what you're grateful for 
um, then that will certainly be something to lighten, the light and shade, you know, because you can always find something to be grateful for, you know, even if there was like, if, if you were really upset and uh, I, I'm thinking of an experience I had recently um, and my car broke down uh, and it just broke down in the middle of the road and I was on the way to get uh, to the registrar to register my sister's death and I had an appointment and I had to get there so it was really important and I'm talking about this, we're talking about death a lot today and I don't want to upset you but I just had a complete meltdown <laughs> and, uh, and these mechanics just came and helped me, <laughs> just took my car away and fixed it and, uh, and I was so grateful, like, I literally broke down outside a mechanic's place and I didn't even know them. I just gave my keys and the next day I had a new clutch in my car and all was well with the world. And I just think sometimes in the darkest moments of your life, uh, you know, you, you get these little nuggets <laughs> that you can look back. I look back and laugh now at that scenario. But, you know, a few weeks ago it wasn't so funny, but I'm now looking at the, the you know, the lighter part of it. Uh, and I guess that is what happens in life, isn't it? That the dark bits kind of fade and the light takes over. It's like every night when we're staring up at the moon, talking to it, which I'm sure you all do because I know I do and I know the people that are watching this, there's a lot of moon bathers and moon worshippers out there. Um, you know, but then the sun comes out, doesn't it? And it does every day. Every day, even, you know, the darkest night, there's a dawn that follows, isn't it? And I just feel that these uh, really fluffy animals that we've picked today <laughs> to cheer us up at the end of a really tough week um, <laughs> kind of portray that. Um, and I don't really want to say any more than that, really. Um, partly because what else is there to say? It's just a fact of life. It's just something that we all go through. But also because I'm just completely thrown. Um, but just to prove, you know, there, there are some cute... Oh, look, bison. <laughs> I'm not selling these cards to anyone, am I? Okay, let's finish. Look, there's a swan as well. So there are some very pretty little cards in there as well. And, uh, you know, I'm sure the moth is, uh, is just as lovely. I'm not a massive fan of moths, so, um, yeah. But hopefully his message today and uh, the little piggy's message as well um, will help you and brighten up your day and make you laugh a little bit too because that, that did make me laugh a little bit. <laughs> so that's the lighter side of it anyway. So have a, thank you for listening. Please do subscribe and like and you know do drop any comments if, uh, if that resonates with you <laughs> in any way. Um, but I will be back to give you some more messages um, or tomorrow on Saturday. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you again. Thank you.